Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing 50 things you may not know about me, in brackets, unless you've been friends with me for years and then you probably know most of them, or at least half. Anyway, this could take a while, 50 things, let's crack on, let's go straight in with number one. Okay, number one. When I was at school, I used to want to be a professional magician. Number two, I run a music magazine as my job. It's called Hit The Floor, www.hitthefloor.com. It's basically I get to go to festivals, gigs, uh, interview bands and celebs, write fun articles. Uh, it's great, I really enjoy it. So um, in fact, it sounds like your kind of thing. Make sure you go check out the website. Number three, I was once papped with Lady Gaga in Heat magazine. And you can see a picture of it right there. Yeah, well, I know it's only half my face, but it still counts, right? Number four, this is a bit of an obvious one if you've watched my other videos, but for people that haven't watched my other videos, I'm a vegan. Number five, um, I run a club night called Party Hard in Torquay in Exeter, kind of like alternative rock music, pop punk, that kind of thing. If you're ever in the area, come down and party with us, it's gonna be fun. Number six, I used to be in a ska punk band called Robolint. You can probably find some bits online if you, if you really wanna check out what we were like. Number seven, I have a squeaky cheek. Or should I say cheeks? Number nine, I have a girlfriend who I live with who is quite clearly awesome. Number 10, I am a rubbish swimmer. I once tried to do a length of my local swimming pool, got about halfway across, and the lifeguard was asking if I was okay. So I was there like doggy paddling, looking like a right idiot. Probably looking like I was drowning. So yeah, rubbish swimmer. Number 11, I've got six hamsters. Um, I've actually got uh, five Roborowski hamsters that live in a hamster mansions over here and we've got a, a Syrian hamster called Ariana Grande. Look out soon, you're gonna be doing some videos, um, some particularly based around you know, keeping small rodents and stuff. Quick advice for now though, don't buy any pets from pet shops or breeders. Rescue, rescue, rescue. Number 12, I was once on the ITV dating show, Take Me Out. I came down the uh, love lift to the final countdown. Uh, if you really wanna look that up, it's probably online somewhere. Number 13, I uh, really like inline skating. Used to be quite good, used to be able to do all those tricks, going down rails, all that kind of stuff, but now I'm a little bit awful. Uh, number 14, this is a bit of a weird one. Uh, bear with me, let me explain this one, okay? The first person I ever fancied was Aladdin. Now let me, okay, so I gotta explain, okay. Aladdin was in a pantomime and was played by a girl. And it, it still sounds weird though, doesn't it? Because I fancied a girl dressed as a, as a man. Uh, but when I was five, Aladdin was, was pretty hot. Uh, I remember Aladdin being all right when I was five. So if it, yeah, I, I don't know, I'm gonna get out of that one. Yeah, that, that's it. Number 15, really like the Disney film, The Little Mermaid. It's by far the, the best Disney film. Uh, best songs, best characters, um, top three Disney films just quickly, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, any other combination of that top three is wrong. If you don't think that's right, you need to sort your life out. Number 16, I did a year of animal care. Number 17, um, I made a documentary featuring rock star Andrew WK, where we took him around a safari park and it went a little bit weird. And we actually got that into the short film corner at the Cannes Film Festival, which was an amazing experience. I made this with a good friend of mine, Nick Box. He makes loads of cool, kind of low budget horror films, dead good films like, go check out his other films. And if you want to watch the Andrew WK uh, documentary, Party Safari, get it in the YouTube search and watch it and let me know what you think. Number 18, uh, got really into photography, especially band photography. Um, been doing it at quite a few festivals this year. Everything is something I'm really enjoying at the moment. Uh, number 19, when I was at school, I hacked the school computers on a number of occasions, even to the point where I actually got banned from using them. I remember once me and a friend of mine installed um, the game Wolfenstein onto everyone's profiles and the teacher came in and watched everyone shooting Nazis on all the computers, which was quite funny. Uh, number 20, I made some snails famous. And basically how this happened is, I saved some giant snails from a market in Brixton. They were selling them for food, and they had no food or water themselves, all dying on each other. We basically bought all the ones we could find that were alive, nursed them back to health, and some of them went to a local zoo called Sheldon Zoo. And the guy there does educational talks, and he took them to an old people's home to do a talk, you know, and using kind of bugs to show that, you know, you should respect the bugs and everything as well. And the, um, local news was actually filming that and the, the snails got on the news. So it was a proper rags to riches story, you know, from the basket of Brixton to uh, regional news. So yeah, 
snails are, are famous and you know, hopefully that they're, they're still doing well. I should go and visit them. Save the snails. Number 21, I used to be a huge fan of the band No Doubt. I've got about 2,000 pound worth of No Doubt merchandise in boxes. Uh, I even set up and ran their um, unofficial UK fan club with a friend of mine called Lex. So yeah, bit extreme. Number 22, I'm really forgetful, especially when it comes to names. The amount of times I meet people and then I see them again, even if it's like a few days later and I cannot remember their name. So if I've met you before and I don't remember your name, I apologize. I'm just really, really bad with names. Number 23, I'm known for being quite spontaneous. Uh, my friends in London especially get a bit annoyed by this because I'm always ending up texting them like the day before um, I'm heading up to London because I just decide I'm going to London and say, oh yeah, yeah, I'm coming to London, do you want to meet up? And they're like, we're working, why couldn't you have let me know? I could have you know, made sure I didn't have any arrangements. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry, friends in London, I will try and be less spontaneous in future. Number 24, I used to run a record label back in the day. Uh, number 25, I also had my own radio show, started doing it from my bedroom, basically with a friend of mine online, and then we actually managed to get a slot on a local um, community FM station, which was pretty cool. Number 26, my mum's a clairvoyant, basically means she speaks to the dead for a living. Number 27, I can be very easily distracted, especially when it comes to funny videos on YouTube, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, when I'm working, try not to distract me. Number 28, one of the highlights of my life is I got to play guitar with the Ataris on stage at their gig in Newport. I played San Dimas High School Football Rules. I basically asked them before the show if I could do it. I, I, I spent ages learning it beforehand. On the off chance, they might say yes, and they, they said yes, and it, it was awesome. Number 29, I'm really terribly bad at doing up my shoelaces for some reason, no matter what I do, double knots, triple knots, they always still come undone. I have no idea why. I could probably gaffer tape them together and they'll still come apart. Um, I've just got a bit of a thing with shoelaces, they hate me. Number 30, I used to think red rubber bands were following me. I know that sounds a bit weird, but everywhere I went there was red rubber bands, like everywhere, like on the floor, on tables, everything. And it turned out the majority of them were from the postman because they wrapped the letters in them and then chuck them on the floor. Um, but for a while I was getting a bit freaked out. Number 31, really like bananas, can eat tons and tons and tons of bananas. Uh, when I was living back at my parents' house, they always knew where I'd been sat because there's normally a banana peel uh, on the side. Um, number 32, love pizza as well. Just started getting really into making my own, which is quite cool. 33, can speak basic German. Guten Tag, ich heiße Chris. Ich wohne in Südwest England. Very basic German. If that was rubbish and you're from Germany, I, yeah, I apologize. Number 34, a bit of a hoarder, especially when it comes to gig memorabilia. I love keeping my tickets and you know, photos and posters, all that kind of stuff. Number 35, I tend to sit down way too much because I'm self-employed and work from home. I'm always sat down on my laptop. Um, my legs start to ache. I really need to get out of the house and start running around a bit more and getting them working or they're gonna seize up one day. So, um, I don't know, motivate me in some way, get me to run around. Number 36, really, really hate Marmite and peanut butter, worst foods of all time. Number 37, I've actually traveled quite a lot, but strangely, I've only ever been out of Europe once, which was to Morocco. Like, Europe, I'm absolutely battered. So um, my mission, you know, for kind of next year is, you know, gotta get out of Europe, hopefully go to America, or I wanna go to Japan or something like that. Number 38, I was once in a music video, which was on Krang and Scuzz, I believe, uh, for the band I Divide, really good friends of mine, incredible band, make sure you go and check them out. I'm in the video for the track Never Be Stopped, and you can watch me get slapped in the face, which is pretty funny. Okay, next one is 39. I once had an argument with Spotify because they limited my plays of Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe. Literally, it said I couldn't play it anymore because I'd played it too much. So I gave them a little bit of shit and they said they were gonna make me an app where it would play it on repeat, but it never happened. And hence why I now use Apple Music. Number 40, for some reason, David Blaine follows me on Twitter, as well as Tango. 41, my favorite computer game of all time is The Secret of Monkey Island, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Get involved if you've not played this game, it's amazing. 42, used to be quite hyperactive as a kid. I actually got taken off sweets for a while because I was just going a bit, a bit crazy. Um, number 43, really like cats. Big up my cats at my parents' house. That's Thule, Poppy, Starla. There's a new one on the way, which I think is getting called Molly. So big up to Molly as well. Love cats. Number 44, years ago I had an ex-girlfriend who was living in London and I went to go and visit her and I told her that the train was delayed, but it was a complete lie, because what I'd actually done is got off the train and then gone to try and find Ashley Simpson, who happened to be playing Roxy Hart in Chicago at one of the theatres. 
So yeah, and I went all the way there, but I couldn't find her. But um, it was worth the trip, because if I had met her, it would have been awesome, wouldn't it? But um, yeah, she still never knows to this day. Sorry. Number 45, I once won a fancy dress competition at Children's Week, where I live, uh, dressed as a robot. And the cool thing was, I won because I was the only person to have entered the sci-fi category, which is brilliant. Number 46, I uh, don't like babies. Um, I think they're rubbish, they all look the same, they're just annoying, I don't find them cute. Um, if you, uh, they, they do all look the same though, don't they? If you chucked a baby into a pile of babies, you'll never find it again, let's be fair. Not a baby person. Number 47, my first ever job was putting the bread bits in the middle of trifles into piles of 10. Number 48, I've had many hair colours throughout my time. I've had black and white hair, I've had pink hair, I've had blue hair, I've had green hair. I actually got expelled from sixth form for having pink hair, surprisingly. And um, I actually argued it, and it ended up, um, after I'd argued it, that everyone in sixth form could have coloured hair. So pink hair won the day. Number 49, I'm a bit of a workaholic. I can pretty much work from the second I wake up to the second I go to sleep. I should probably stop and have more breaks. And finally, number 50, I really, really like the show How I Met Your Mother. It's way better than Friends, if anyone compares it to that. Screw Friends, How I Met Your Mother all the way. Uh, if you do watch it though, please, please, if you watch the last episode, um, just turn it off when it says, and this is How I Met Your Mother, because after that, it's the worst ending ever. Um, I can't believe they did this to me. So there you go, that's 50 things you may not have known about me. If you want me to elaborate on any of those, let me know in the, in the comments. I'll be um, doing some new videos soon, a, a few probably about pets, so look out for them soon. And yeah, that's it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and... That clap means it's the end. <laughs> right, we'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.